Welcome to Inside Eastern Utah. Today we are here with a couple of guests who are working very, very hard to change our community. We have Dr. Richard Wood and his wife, Ruth Allen, and you are here representing today the Faith-Based Coalition, or Faith-Based Initiative. FBI. The FBI, <laughs> that's right. And I wanted to say for a second, um, I love what you're doing. I love the FBI. I think that, um, and we'll talk about this, the Faith-Based Initiative has come about because of your position in the Carbon County Care Coalition. You mm -hmm. were appointed on that coalition as the faith-based representative. That coalition is made up of, um, do we have 13 or 14 board members? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. I don't know, 13 number. or 14, but they all are from a different sector of the community. So we're, we're not missing anybody. It's a very well-rounded board, and you were the faith-based representative on that. Mm -hmm. So because of that, you have done this little spinoff group that you're calling the Faith-Based Initiative, or the FBI, which is super clever. <laughs> we yes. always get a, a good chuckle out of that. But um, tell us what you're doing, what the FBI is, and what you're doing, and what it's all about. Well, the FBI, it's really kind of fun. We tell our neighbors we have an FBI meeting, and they think, oh, this is really important and exciting. Yes. And, um, the FBI really stands for the Faith-Based Initiative. And uh, it was basically our belief that Carbon County values were determined by the versatility that exists in Carbon County. We're extremely cosmopolitan. We have uh, different races and ethnicity mm -hmm. and religions, and we felt that that element of diversity really was a, a, f a function of strength that we built sure. a sense of tolerance, understanding, and a mutual investment in trying to make Carbon County a really wonderful place. And um, the faith-based initiative was to combine the religious organizations. Mm -hmm. We have several represented here. Greek Orthodox, this is the first Greek Orthodox church in Utah, it's here in Carbon County. Yes. So the Greek Orthodox, the Roman Catholic, the Protestants, the LDS, the amalgamation of these religions really shows that we are much more common than we are separate or diverse. Sure. Our, our, our values and our beliefs, our goals and our ideals are very similar. And uh, it was, we, our thinking was that if we could transpose those values and, and be unified in our approach to helping strengthen families and empower kids, then we're really building our families and we're building kids so that they have resilience, they have the ability to confront drug abuse in a way that says, I don't wanna be involved in that. Mm -hmm. It's not a part of my lifestyle, it's not a part of my belief system, and that becomes the immunization against becoming involved in substance abuse in the first place. And, uh, we know that the kids that are not involved in that are certainly doing a lot better than the kids that do get involved. And yes. so that attitude of saying that our common belief system builds our character mm -hmm. and gives us a purpose for our life. And so that was the real meaning behind establishing the faith-based initiative. And um, we've been doing this for about a year now. We've served in the jail about three years now as part of our <coughs> ecclesiastical calling and we find that um, there's a lot more unity and, and it's great to get with people that have diverse religion, religious beliefs because we find that those people are absolutely wonderful. They're wonderful to deal with, um, their conversation is always positive and uplifting and it's focused and it's building a sense of common purpose for our whole community. And that's what we really love about the group that we deal with yesterday. We had a meeting and we had 40 people who were there. Uh, we usually have more than that, but we wow. had some people out of the country or out of the state and we had funerals that were going on. So we missed a few of the people, but that commonly we've had between 40 to 50 people mm -hmm. every month coming together to talk about our common problems. I love that. I don't know of any other group, and I, I'm not gonna say it's never been done before, but this is the first time I've heard of a group such as this in Carbon County of all of the congregations, all of the denominations coming together to say we have a problem and we are here to, to help each other and we're gonna get it solved and, yeah. and figure it out. And I love um, another thing is the Care Coalition that you and I both sit on that board. Mm -hmm. um, it's an evidence-based program for substance abuse prevention. and while that is wonderful and fabulous, what we're doing today and now is gonna take us years to see results. 
So your little group, your FBI group, has stepped in and said, we need to do something now. Yes, this evidence-based program is awesome and we need that for our younger kids that are coming up because we don't want them to be where some of our kids are today. But what can we do today? What can we do right now to give these kids the skills, the coping skills that they need or just um, some programs and activities, things that they need to know. They matter to us and we're going to make a change in their life. So I love that there's action happening now in your little group. So. Yeah, I think, it, I think the fact that we have um, the um, character counts in Carbon mm -hmm. County program that's generated by the school district, we're piggybacking on that. Yes. So that the religions every, every, every week will say, this is the, this is this the, is the character value. trait that mm -hmm. the school district is teaching to the kids. What can we do to augment that and supplement that with our parents so that we're helping parents to build relationships with their kids mm -hmm. as well as teach them principles that will help them in their lives to be Absolutely. successful and, and happy. It's a neat coalition we've got with the school district mm -hmm. and we appreciate Judy Maynard and the rest of the counselors and the mm -hmm. teachers in the district that are saying it's more than just teaching academics. We're teaching kids the skills and attributes that will help them be successful in life, sure. which is the ultimate test of education. Mm -hmm. and, and in its totality. Yeah. And I love yeah. that you guys are building upon these programs or organizations that are already established. Yep. That way it just carries through all aspects of life. I really love that cooperation mm -hmm. between yeah. that. Yeah, the, yeah. the meeting yesterday was really exciting. We talked about those characters and the, the school district has identified one every month that they use within their school. And um, you've asked the faith based people to use those in their faith and we had community leaders as well that were there we had media partners that were there mm -hmm. um, the exciting thing about media is we're going to help get this out to the community and that's great and uh, if we're all sending the same message for the whole month of september that this is the value we're working on in our community it's going to be powerful i i have lots of faith that it's going to be <laughs> a powerful thing and, and exciting for our kids to see you know what all these people care they they're noticing and they care and then um the mayor talked about a program where they're handing out, um, city workers have little prizes to hand out to people they see just exhibiting good values in, mm -hmm. in the community. It might be a child, it might be an adult, but they're going to say, hey, thanks, here's a wave pool pass, or here's a free ice cream cone. Thanks for what you're doing for our community. And I think those little things are going to make a big difference. And I like how Mayor Piccolo is in charge of the committee dealing with community values and mm -hmm. beliefs and accentuating the positive things sure. about Carbon County. Many times we hear all of the negative things, but there are a lot of positive yes, things. And if we can accentuate that mm -hmm. for kids to recognize it and for parents, um, the more positive we are with our kids, mm -hmm. the, certainly the better the relationship. So Absolutely. I really think that's, I'm glad that you highlighted that. Another thing is that we do have the media. You folks reach everybody in Carbon and Emory County. We do. And so that media extension, whether mm -hmm. it's through TV10 or whether it's the newspapers, the more we collaborate and mm -hmm. cooperate and have a vision that says the messages we communicate are universal for our kids. Mm -hmm. Our investment is not now. Of course, we do things now, but the investment is for the future so that our, our kids and our community can really become better we could be known as a positive community. And so I'm really grateful, Shannon, that you're engaging the, um, the media of this community to say, it's not just religions, it's media, it's schools. And mm -hmm. we do have and part- it's parents. Yes, yeah, it's parents. parents and yes. it's the root of the community. It's what we stand for. These parents have got to be responsible and live up. To what we what we're standing for and what they believe in not not allow media and other things to take over for their families and to take over for their community sure we've got to drop sometimes drop the media <laughs> <laughs> not us and though because we're no, great no, keep it to you, that's right <laughs> drop the cell phone but there. mainstream yeah. mainstream media of course it is. yes yeah, I think Ruth Allen's point is that we're, we're really trying to strengthen families Absolutely. and empower kids mm -hmm. through whatever means. And we're novices when it comes to the electronic generation, uh, uh, but kids get a lot of their information 
they over sure electronic do. media. Mm -hmm. And, yes, we, and they do. sometimes we don't use that as a, 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 as a means or a mechanism to try to reach out to them. Mm -hmm. um, we, know, we do know that there are high schools around the state of Utah that the kids in high school create a video every year that's competitive mm -hmm. that talks about how to reduce drug abuse for kids. Mm -hmm. And the competition is great, and I'd really like to see something like that in our community where the kids get together, put on their own video that says, this is how we're going to prevent mm -hmm. substance abuse. It's a great idea, and it's a media extension than we wouldn't have thought of, certainly not sure. in our generation. We're, we're a generation or two <laughs> removed from the millennials, and so it's a challenge to understand what millennials are kind of going through and how they think and how they respond to things. And we find that the most important thing that parents can have with their kids is a good relationship mm -hmm. because then the kids will listen to them and they, they can talk to them about issues that are really germane to their lives because it, growing up is the hardest things that kids ever do. And yeah. We want them to make sure <laughs> that they grow right. up being mm -hmm. successful and happy and productive and yeah, not get involved in substance that de detract them from what they can accomplish. And sure. It all starts in the home, I think, yeah, it is important to... Yeah to um, focus on. So. It does. That's the foundation for all of us and if mm -hmm. we can help build and strengthen parents mm -hmm. so that they're, what they say is meaningful and important to kids, then that's a win-win situation for sure. everybody. Sure is. Well, Richard, you have been able to build some great relationships with people outside of the community who have a lot of knowledge and ideas for us to, to implement here in our community. And when we come back from the break, we're going to talk about some of those relationships and some of the things that you have been able to bring back into the community and some of the things that are coming up that you're bringing to the community. Right. So. Yes. so stay tuned. We're going to be back in just a few minutes to talk more about that here on Inside Eastern Utah.